Hi, welcome to the Dupre Tusca training video. First, I'd like to thank you for your purchase and remind you that we're available for questions on how to use your machine or any applications. Steam cleaning is a great way to steam or disinfect any surface. Before steam cleaning, always test a hidden section of the surface. Please refer to the user manual for all safety instructions. Let's go through with what comes in the box. You have the Dupre Tusca steam cleaner, a detachable steam cleaning hose, a triangle tool, a microfiber pad, microfiber cloth, the floor tool, microfiber bonnet for the floor tool, a small microfiber bonnet for the triangle tool, a window tool, two extension tubes, three nylon brushes, three brass brushes, three stainless steel brushes, a steam scraper, a large nylon brush, a plunger tool, and your steam lance. We also have a water bottle that comes with it, and an Allen key with replaceable O-rings. Let's get started with your machine. First, we want to refill it with water. To do so, we open the pressure cap, We use regular tap water and fill it with about half a gallon or two liters of water. Once there's enough water in there, we're gonna take it out, replace the pressure cap, screw it on so it's snug, you don't have to over tighten. Afterwards, we're gonna unravel the power cord and plug it in. We need to take the switch on the back of the machine here and turn it on. You'll see that on the front of the machine, it'll say off on the display. We then have the power switch on the front. Turn the power switch on, it'll light up. Next, we have the boiler power switch that we need to turn on. When both of these lights are on, the machine starts heating up. It takes about eight to 10 minutes for it to heat up and the steam indicator light will come on green. The temperature will read 316 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's the temperature inside the boiler. It's going to fluctuate when you use it. When you release steam, it might drop and it'll come back up. We want to connect the hose. On the front, we open the flap, slide it in, and we push it all the way in until it snaps. To release it, you can press the button and pull it out. On the detachable hose, we have two pressure settings. We have one that has one cloud on it, that's the low setting. The next has two clouds, it's the medium setting. And when both are flipped on together, it's the high setting. This allows you to change the pressure you want to use while you're cleaning. We don't want to use the high pressure setting for too long as it'll drain the pressure out of the boiler. We'll use it for 30 seconds or a minute, something like that for greasy barbecues or something that really needs a bit bit more kick. When the steam ready indicator light comes on, you're ready to use your machine. To release steam, we want to use the steam trigger on the inside of the handle and you pull it. In the beginning, there's going to be a bit more condensation as the hose and the tools are cold. Once you start using them, they'll heat up and the steam will become dry. When you're out of water, the alarm will start to sound and the low water indicator light will come on. At this point, we want to turn the boiler switch off, take the steam hose on the maximum setting and pull the trigger to release all the steam pressure. After, we want to let the machine cool down for a few minutes. After it's cooled down for a few minutes, you can turn it off and slowly open the pressure cap. If there's any steam pressure coming out, let it sit and cool down for a few minutes longer. We don't want to open it too fast as you can risk burning your hand. Slowly open it up again. Once it's fully opened, you can take the jug of water and pour in about two liters to half a gallon of water. Take the pressure cap, replace it. Tighten it snugly and turn the machine on and wait for the steam ready indicator light to come back on.
Now let's go through your accessory kit and how to use each tool. We'll start with connecting the accessories. We take the accessory and slide it into the hose or into the extension tubes until it clicks into place. To remove it, push on the yellow button and slide it out. This is the same way that you can connect any accessory or any of the extension tubes. The first tool to go through is the triangle tool. The triangle tool is one of the most important tools. You can use it to clean fabric and upholstered seats. You can use it for disinfecting countertops and killing bed bugs. It's going to be used for pretty much any type of larger surface, but not flooring. To use it, we typically use it with either a microfiber cloth or a bonnet. To install it, we would take the microfiber cloth, open it up, place the tool in the center, open the clip, and pass it under. It's not important how it goes on there, it's just there that, to hold the cloth together. Once it's open, you can do it like that. What the cloth does is go ahead, collect the dirt, collect the humidity, and it also insulates the steam so that it's hotter. To remove it, push the clip and pull it apart. You can also use a bonnet. The easiest way to install the microfiber bonnet is to put it over top like this and flip the corners over. Another feature of the triangle tool is the clip underneath it. When the clip is pulled back, you can rotate it around, or if you line it up in the center and push this together, it leaves it in one position. This is a fixed position, so it gives you a bit more scrubbing power. You can also use it without a cloth, and this has the, the soft nylon brushes, and you can use this if you're cleaning shower walls or anything that you just want to give it a bit of a scrubbing action. The next accessory is the rectangle tool, or the floor tool. This is the tool that we're going to use for all types of flooring, ceramic, linoleum, hardwood floors, or even carpet. We can use it a few different ways. We can use it without the cloth, so that we have the brushes, this was great for stone floors, porous ceramics, to really get into those pores and remove the dirt. We can also use it with a microfiber cloth or any other type of cloth. You can use a face towel, a rag, or microfiber towels. To use this, we'd use the clips here. Just hold it in place. And that'll hold the cloth on the tool. It also insulates the steam so that it increases the temperature of the steam here. It also re uh, removes the dirt, uh, collects all of the moisture, and that's what's doing all the cleaning for you. You can also use it with a microfiber bonnet. So we have the large rectangle bonnet like this. And this just makes it a bit easier to install. It does the same work as any other cloth. We can also use the microfiber pad that came with the machine. So place the tool in the center, push it under the two clips on either side. This creates a nice plush surface that you can use on hardwood flooring or on rugs. The next tool is the extension tubes. The extension tubes you can use to extend your reach. You can use it with one or by connecting the two together. You can use this for cleaning floors, for grout, or for cleaning walls, or anywhere that you want to have your reach a bit longer away from you. The next tool is the steam lance. Steam lance is used for precision cleaning, such as spot removal, stain removal, automotive detailing, grout cleaning, or anywhere else that you need to get into a corner. We can use it with one of our many brushes, such as the nylon brush. Slides into place. The nylon bristles are one of the softest brushes we have, besides the optional horsehair brush. It's normal that they're going to bend out of place when you use them. You can keep using it until the brushes actually wear out. So the nylon you can use for grout cleaning or anywhere that's a bit more delicate. Slides off. The next brush is the brass brush. So the brass brush is a bit more aggressive than the nylon brush. It slides into place the same way. And you can use it for grout cleaning or you can use it on barbecues or ovens. It's important to note when you're using the brass brush to always test the surface to make sure that it doesn't scratch the surface before using it. We also have the stainless steel brush, which is the most aggressive brush that we have. So it's going to be the most rigid bristles. 
This is important to use only on surfaces that cannot be scratched, such as concrete or bricks. We also have the larger six centimeter brush. So it's a large nylon brush, slides on the same way. This brush is going to be very similar to the small nylon brush, but a bit larger. You can also use this one with uh, something like an SOS pad or a scrub brush that just sticks over top and then you can use it to clean pots and pans. We also have our plunger tool. So the plunger tool slides on the same way. You can put it over top of a drain. When you put it over the drain and you pump steam into the drain, it removes the grease and the odors. We also have the steam scraper. So the scraper slides on again the same way. And this can be used to scrape off adhesives such as tape or stickers from surfaces. All of the brushes can be ordered on Dupre.com. Same with the cloths and the bonnets. The last tool is the window tool. The window tool has two sides to it. One is the neoprene scrub and the other is the squeegee. To clean a mirror or a glass surface, you want to use the side that has the neoprene scrub and then flip it over to the squeegee. The other way to do windows or mirrors is if you use just the steam lance or the gun and wipe it down with a dry cloth. After about 20 to 30 hours of using your machine, the front LCD will say descale. At this time, it's time to do the boiler maintenance. To do so, you're going to take your machine to a sink, flip it up, use the Allen key that comes with the machine to open up the boiler drain. We'll drain out all the water that's left in the machine. We'll close it back up. At this time, we'll refill it with 50% water and 50% white vinegar. We'll let that sit overnight to descale the boiler. This will remove all the mineral deposits that have collected in the bottom of your machine. After 12 hours, we can come back to the machine. We'll open up from the boiler again at the bottom. Drain out all the solution. You'll see there's a lot of scale and minerals in it. We'll close it back up. We'll open the boiler top. We'll fill it with water and you're good to use the machine again. After performing the boiler maintenance, the machine's display will still read descale. At this point, we need to reset the maintenance reminder. To do so, make sure the machine is plugged in. We turn the power switch on in the front, and then we press and hold the power switch for 10 seconds. The next time you turn the machine on, it won't say descale anymore. For more information, please refer to the user manual. Thank you for watching the Dupre training video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please give us a call or email us on our website. Please follow us on social media and leave us a review on our website.